Welcome to my channel about embedded systems, robotics and fissure technique. The focus of this video is my robotic arm made of fissure technique and with a pneumatic hand. And the hand is the real focus. So far the switches to activate the finger is on the inside and for some time I've wanted to do it on the outside and see what the effect is. Because right now you have to press and then wait until it's gone, but I would like to see what the effect is if it is on the outside. Press and then see if your finger gets pushed away and how it can be done that way. Programming needs not to be adjusted, but I hope that both electricity and you can see with the LEDs right here how it's being uh, activated and with the compressor engine if that is all functional. So let's modify and test. So with another camera and on the right side the code and the execution terminal. Let's see whatever I can accomplish. So with this switch should be on the outside. And then the curious part is how much more length of the cable do I need? Well, in this case, none. How about here? So this is the index finger. And here I need to take the fingertip off. But also some more. Let's see. This is slightly better. Slide it out. Turn around. Another point is now that, as you can see, the cable, this cable is going to the outside. Is that a wise idea? And only testing will tell. And another thing is, is it wise to have the connectors, the electrical wiring, have from the underside? So I am going to change that. See, they are from the, from here. I want them from the other side. Red goes in here, green goes in here, so the effect will be the same. And now I should push and wait until this happens. But the question is, will it happen? So there's more involved than I initially had thought. Three more to go, but that I will do off camera. And I am meeting with the dreaded problem that the electrical wire is short. Well, it's not actually short, but it has been pulled back by the weight of the wire through the arm. So I first have to make sure that the electrical wire is again pulled back through the arm or pulled forward, whatever. And then I can attach the finger tip. So I have to find out which wire it is and then make sure it doesn't pull back again. For now, the problem is solved by lifting all pneumatic and electrical parts up through the inner side of the arm. So now the wire is long enough. And ring finger is finished. Sort of. And now it is. Remains the little finger which suffers a similar problem. So 
So this part is easy. And I have to put it like this. Shifting in. And for now, everything seems to be all right. So with all switches, sensors attached to the outside, let's start the program and see how things work out in reality. And this is take four for this segment for the fingers test. So let's start the software. The compressor doing its job. And in the first take everything except the little finger did work. So let's test all these again. Thump. Does it respond? Let's wait a little bit more. And ring finger functions, middle finger functional, index finger functional, thumb is functional, little finger. In the first take, the little finger was the only finger that did not respond. And it looks like it is doing the same now. So everything is all right, but I have to look at the pneumatics connection for the little finger because electrically it is fine. Once more middle finger. And now you can see that my finger is being pushed away uh, while touching the sensor and that gives a better experience. Once more. Yep. Very good. So remaining is pneumatics for little finger. Let's find out how that is coming. Now I have taken the diagnostics interface program and it turns out that all fingers respond when I directly control the interface except the little finger. So with the pneumatics attached and the electric attached and all working fine, it looks like a problem with the valve and that may give a problem because this kind of valve is no longer available. So what am I going to do with it? For now, nothing. Uh, diagnostics has confirmed that it's malfunctioning somehow. And that means that the program on this little finger won't work either. The electrical signal is being detected fine. The valve is being operated, just not uh, functioning. And that's too bad. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Click the bell for notification. You can also follow me via X and Instagram. And you can support via PayPal, Ko-fi and by joining me on Patreon. This is of course going to be continued. For now, have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.